Hello there, this is Sue from Sue's Paper Creations. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. And today I have for you two fabulous quick and easy cards that you can make using our new Perfectly Plaid bundle. Now this bundle is going to be available starting on September the 4th in our holiday catalog. We have got a brand new catalog that is coming out starting September the 4th and it not only covers Christmas but it covers the entire fall season right through to Valentine's Day. So there is lots and lots to see. Here it is here. And if you live within Canada and would like a copy of the holiday catalog I would be happy to mail you one if you don't already have a demonstrator. Um, I would love to be your demonstrator. So like I said we have got lots of stuff for fall. Um, Thanksgiving um, has everything from pumpkins to Halloween stuff um, all the way to lots of stuff um, and beautiful things for Valentine's. So um, today we're going to be working with the Perfectly Plaid and I want to just show you quick easy projects that you can make within a couple minutes. Um, this one is a little gift enclosure which I think is adorable and this one here is a full-size card which I added a little bit of texture in the background. Now the papers that I'm going to be using today also come in the holiday catalog and coordinate with the Perfectly Plaid's um, bundle. It is a bundle called um, Wrapped Up in Plaid and these are the Wrapped Up in Plaid papers. So it is a paper stack that is six by six papers and there is 48 of them. There is 12 gorgeous plaid designs and then on the back, because they are double sided, there is great little designs with all sorts of Christmas motifs on there. We've got trees and pine cones and reindeer stockings. So lots of these would be great for all your holiday projects. And um, I just love this dark green that we're gonna be using. It's shaded spruce and cherry cobbler. So those are the ink pads that I'm going to pull in to use for my projects today. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put this aside here. I do have my um, current host code here available for anyone who's wanting to purchase anything online. And if your order ends up being $90 or more using the host code, I will mail you, this is my loyalty gift for this month, which is August, and it is the beautiful faceted dots. And so you will receive one of these in the mail from me for placing those orders over $90, okay? Now, I am gonna bring in the pieces I'm going to need for the card. And I'm gonna start by doing, I think, the large card first. So I have got a card base of Whisper White, and it is just, um, let's see here, eight and a half by five and a half. And I've just scored it at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold that. Now I've got another layer here, which I already textured using our wood plank um, textured embossing folder and it leaves it leaves a gorgeous design and let me see if I can hold it up so you guys can actually see this is um, one of our deeper impression ones and it really does you can feel the texture and um, it adds a lot to the card so this piece is five and a quarter by four and I've just run it through um, my big shot using that embossing folder so that is going to be our layer there and then I have a piece of designer series paper four inches by two inches. Now I wanted to have a focal point for my card so I brought in the nested label dies. Now these are um, a great set. You can see them right here. There is so many different sizes from very small, actually this one's the smallest, there to very large and they're a great size and I love the fact that they have this beautiful detail on it okay so that's what we're going to be stamping on all right so let's get started I have my stamps ready to go here and this is going to go together quite quickly I'm going to bring in my cherry cobbler and I am going to start by just stamping Merry Christmas on the bottom of this now because I am using photopolymer stamps, I'm gonna bring in one of our stamping mats and it just makes it so that when you're stamping you get a nice easy um, impression and there's a little bit of a give underneath where you're stamping and it just makes everything stamp a little bit clearer. 
I'm gonna go straight up and down. So there is our Merry Christmas. Now I'm gonna bring in a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to stamp. Let's bring in our shaded spruce. Now this is my favorite green for Christmas. I just love it. And I'm gonna bring in one of our trees. Now for this tree, there is also a trunk that goes with it, but I want to show you the easiest way to stamp this one. And first I wanna, I'm gonna bring this close to the camera. And can you see the detail? in that tree. It is just beautiful. This is the way all of the stamps are in this set. You'll see when I do the um, plaid one as well. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to bring in my punch. I'm going to stamp this tree out and as you can see the trunk of the tree is still white. It's popping off there. Okay. Now we have a little tiny stamp right here in the stamp set and that is going to stamp the trunk now it is easier, this is my one tip for this one, it is easier to stamp the tree first and then go in and line up the trunk with the piece that's cut out and stamp the trunk after, okay? Because if you go and try and just guess where the center will be, when you go to punch it out, you won't end up, you may end up punching part of the trunk. So this makes it nice and centered. So stamp your tree first and then punch it out and then add your little trunk piece, okay? So that's just one little trick so you don't get frustrated trying to um, line that up perfectly, okay? So as you can see, this is coming together very quickly. I am going to bring in a little bit of um, twine. Now this twine is actually from our, um, let's see here, set sails I think it is uh, sweet it's night of navy and Sahara, uh, Sahara sand and I brought this one in because we use the Sahara sand for the trunk of the tree so I thought it'd be nice to bring that little bit of kind of tan color in there and I'm just gonna just tie a simple knot here now one of the things that I love with this twine and I'm going to show you after I'm just going to trim it off. It's looking pretty good so far. And I'm going to add, where's my dimensions here? Let's bring in a couple mini dimensionals and I'm going to put the tree on here. So you can see this is very quick and easy. I'm going to put that on there. But what I like about this twine is I love to, once I have it tied, twirl it the opposite direction the way it's wound and just kind of have those fuzzy bits spread out a little bit to make it kind of more like a bow and rustic okay so there is our um, feature piece for our card so now it's just going to be a matter of bringing in let's just grab my adhesive here and we are going to put our layers together so I'm going to add that wood plank on top of my white card base and then I'm going to bring in our piece of DSP from the wrapped in plaid and like I said there is 12 gorgeous plaid designs to choose from I chose one that has that night of navy in it just because I love I love night of navy and green together and I'm just going to add this focal piece on top and you can see just the difference the detail makes having that stitched edge, okay, around our focal piece here, and then that little bit of texture. Now, for me, nothing is complete in Christmas without a little bit of bling. So I am bringing in, yes, these are new from again the holiday catalog. These are the holiday rhinestone basics. So I love these. I'm going to see if you can kind of see it with the light in here. You've got a gorgeous yellow, almost like a cherry cobbler, that dark, dark green. We've got a, a nice icy blue and then the navy blue. So these are beautiful. I am going to just pull out a couple of these and just place them on here just to add a little something extra to our card so I think that just finishes off perfectly okay 
So that is our main card. Now we're gonna move on to our little three by three. And this one is even quicker. So I'm gonna put that one aside. I'll leave it here so you guys can see it. But for the three by three, I am actually going to bring in a different tree and I'm gonna bring back my shaded spruce. And I'm going to stamp with this is the plaid tree from the set and I'm going to stamp that in this upper left hand corner now I want it to be slightly higher than the middle and off to the side and I'm going to stamp it straight down now again you're going to be able to see the detail I'm just going to show it to you see the detail in that stamp Isn't that beautiful I'm going to bring in my tree punch and I'm going to punch that tree out Okay, now we are going to use this piece and we are going to use this piece. So this is a no waste card and I love that. So I'm going to bring in, I have cut a piece, this white um, piece of Whisper White was measures uh, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then again, I went and I picked one of the patterns from our uh, wrapped in plaid. Now I could use the polka dots if I wanted, or I could use that design there. I'm gonna use this plaid design for this one. And I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive, just where you're not going to see it. And I'm just gonna overlay that, okay? just like that. Now I'm going to take the tree that we punched out and I am going to pop it up down here but first I want to bring in a little bit of gold. So if you didn't already notice when I was showing you all of these papers have a hint of gold in them. So that's why I wanted to bring in a little bit of gold thread and we're going to bring in let's see here our stampin dimensions I'm going to add just a couple of these on the back because I'm going to show you the easiest way to add this thread to the back of this tree I'm going to bring it over here I can find the end and I'm just going to push it onto the dimension and then I'm going to wrap it around like this and just kind of go back and forth layering it doesn't have to be perfect because I find that when the thread is messy that's when I like the look of it the most so I'm going to go with that I'm just going to trim it okay and then I'm going to add just one more stampin dimension on the back here to make sure it sticks down and I'm going to put that over top just like that Okay, and then if you want, you can rearrange those gold pieces the way you want them. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp our Ho Ho Ho, which is also in uh, Cherry Cobbler. So we're going to do this thing in Cherry Cobbler as well. So I'm going to stop that like that. And I'm just going to grab our window punch. Okay, all right, I am back. That took a little bit more looking than I thought, but I did find it. I have got the classic label punch right here, and I'm going to now punch out that ho 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 that we're going to lay across the trees. And that is a classic label punch. Comes in handy for many, many projects. Now I'm going to add this with one of our Stampin' Dimensions, and then I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on the other side. Just because that tree is um, slightly raised on the one side, so I want it to just match up perfectly but stay flat over here. Okay, now we're going to add this to our card base. And again, this is just a piece of cardstock that was six by three, and I scored it at three inches in the middle to make this adorable little three by three gift enclosure and just to finish it off I again I'm going to add one of our holiday rhinestones just to give it a little tiny bit of bling 
So there it is there. So here is one with a slightly darker tree, and here's one with slightly li um, lighter pattern. That was cute. So that is our three by three. This is our full card. Quick and easy projects that you can make using the brand new perfectly plaid bundle stamp set and punch okay so you can look forward to um, this bundle as well as all sorts of amazing products starting on september the 4th so remember to check back starting september the 4th and check out all the wonderful things for the holidays i'm going to be doing a few more sneak peeks um, with new products coming up so if you want to be able to catch those just subscribe to my channel and then you won't miss anything um, if there's anything in the current catalog that you're wanting to order again this is my current host code that i have going on right now and this is my little gift to you for anyone who purchases over $90. Now you do have to be within Canada to purchase through my online store. And this is my website here um, for the link for my online store. Okay, so thank you once again for joining me. I hope you like those quick and easy projects and I will see you next time. Have a good day.